Welcome back to the Graham Miller Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Men's Soccer Head Coach Graham Miller. And Coach, when we talked in the preseason, I asked you what you wanted to see from your team in the non-conference schedule before you got into conference play. And the two things that you mentioned is, can we handle the pressure and can we play consistently for 90 minutes? So how would you rate your team so far? Yeah, I think pretty well over the, over the course of the, uh, over the 10 games that we've played so far. I would say that uh, we definitely have been more consistent and, and played uh, for longer spells in games. Uh, we're not as young as what we were last year. Uh, so with only one freshman, uh, one or two freshmen starting, uh, there's been, been a lot more uh, consistency in our performances. And, uh, you know, we handled the pressure. I felt like we handled the pressure uh, against Stevens Tech and an unbelievable game here against the uh, you know, number 16 team in the country. Uh, and then I th thought we didn't handle the pressure against the St. Mary's team that were very good on the road. Uh, so there's still some things that we're working out. Uh, but overall, uh, very pleased with the effort, very pleased with the intensity, uh, especially during this you know, hot part of the season. They've definitely did their job over the course of, uh, of non-conference play. Yeah, you have to be proud of your team for you know, the last week that you had, four games in seven days. You go unbeaten in that stretch. The only, not even a blemish, but it's a tie against Stevens Tech that you mentioned. So, you know, talk about the resilience and, uh, of your team and maybe even the depth that you had. And that was, and that's what we talked about. You know, when I took over this program three years ago, uh, the plan was to get depth in every position, uh, competitiveness in every position, uh, be able to, uh, you know, when, when somebody goes down hurt, this next guy up and uh, ready to go. And, and obviously because of the, the Delaware Valley game getting uh, postponed and moved to the, to the Monday. Uh, you know, the four games in eight days, that uh, doesn't happen very often. And, uh, and if we look at those games, you know, the, the, the Stevens Tech game went to double overtime, the Delaware Valley and Immaculata and Eastern games were all played in mid afternoon uh, where temperatures were close to the nineties. Uh, so definitely uh, the guys really hung tough. We played a lot of guys and uh, you know, I'm just impressed by, by the depth we have in the squad and, and the level did not drop. And sometimes that happens when you make subs or you make changes to your starting lineup. Uh, we didn't have that drop. And it was great to come through uh, in the tough circumstances, playing that many games in such a short amount of time to come away with, you know, unbeaten in four games is something pretty special. So you've had eight players find the back of the net. Ten, of, ten different players have a point. Has anyone surprised you or, you know, really impressed you so far? Well, I think uh, the, the big thing is guys are, guys are learning from last year. So... You know, we've already had the, the Dylan Hollies and the, the Jay Smiths, the Tarek Lees, the DR Medtarts, who continue to just, you know, get better every year. And uh, we've seen that in their performances. Uh, the sophomores, I think, have really learned a lot from their freshman year. Uh, AJ Morales, who has played a lot for us and uh, didn't score his rookie season, and he came up with a big goal against Stevens Tech. Uh, he came up with the game winner against Eastern on Saturday. Uh, you know, he's at three goals in a year, and that's been huge for him. Uh, we've had some other uh, of those sophomores, uh, Jason Cahan, uh, that have, you know, came into it, Diego, uh, who have really, you know, learned from the previous year and they're, they're getting better. And that's what we want. We want to see that improvement uh, every year. And then Chris Gonzalez, the freshman, uh, who's come in as a center back and really uh, looks like he's, you know, been playing with us for three years. I mean, he's been so, so natural in there and he's uh, really helped us out in that center back position with Dylan and Jevin. So we have more depth there. So overall, uh, you know, the guys are getting better, and that's all we need. And, and the same goes for the goalkeeping with, with Stella Tano. Uh, he's did it again, and, and it's great to see him uh, continue where he left off from his rookie season. Yeah, I was going to mention him. He already has four shutouts on the air, another additional shared shutout where I think he played 79 of those, those minutes in that game. So now we're kind of flipping the page. Like, you start conference play on Saturday. So what are your expectations as you, as you enter Mac Commonwealth play? Well, we know we can't surprise them like we did last year. You know, we were picked uh, last year to finish seventh and uh, obviously made our way up to fourth and, and gave the three top teams a, a real run for the money and the side in the, in, the, in the semifinal. Now it's a little different. We're picked to finish fourth uh, in the playoffs, so now more teams are going to be gunning for us. Uh, the big thing is we've got to pick up the home results. You know, we have, you know, the four home games. Uh, they're key. I always say four or five games are going to get you in the playoffs. Four or five wins are going to get you in the playoffs. And then it's up to you how much extra you want to do. And uh, the goal would be to be in the top three. Uh, you know, we're picked to finish fourth, but the goal is top three because you do not want to play in that fourth, fifth game and then turn around two days later and play the number one team on the road. So uh, that's our goal. Our goal is to be top three in the conference. 
uh, feeling that we can do that, especially with the players we've got. We continue to stay healthy. We continue to improve. They continue to buy in and, uh, you know, let us say the distractions will be, will be good for that. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck moving forward, and we'll see you back here soon. I appreciate it. Thanks, Sam. For head coach Graham Miller, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been The Graham Miller Show.